Let's drop in on the game with uh, BC and Team Wildcard. This is uh, Glenn Howard with Wayne Madaw throwing the Whoa. Whoa. skip songs. Uh, Wayne Madaw made a Tim, double Tim, on his Tim, first to lie really two, go, Tim, and no hit. double available really for Jim Cotter, go. so he hit and stuck on shot stone. And this is the Keep hit going. back for two. Clean, clean, clean. And there they are. Yep. <laughs> Again, if you're not familiar, Glenn Howard uh, unable so to play. <laughs> After a recent accident, so uh, called on his old buddy. Christ, Rick, I should have flashed that. And uh, Wayne Madaw doing very well. I watched that shot uh, earlier, and Wayne turned to Glenn and said, I should have flashed that. And Tim March started right off the bat and carved that thing all the way in. And again, I say earlier, Wayne's not used to that. It's it's almost like cheating for Wayne. <laughs> He's giddy out here. Yeah. It's like this is good. <laughs> Back to the uh, game on sheet B, and uh, it is the Steve Laycock team. They came in, Kathy, yeah, with Laycock skipping but throwing third. Now Jim Cotter is, in fact, with their slow start, like is now skipping and, and throwing the last one. Well, and he's calling an audible from the hack. The challenge for Jim is he ignored the well, biting stone on the left-hand yeah. side where Steve's broom is and wanted to play the come around. But that was where his stone was on the other side. And in Wayne Madaw hitting it, it's really tough to draw in there now because both sides are blocked. So changing from the hack, electing now to play the hit and roll instead of trying to draw way outside. He's going to play the beaker, right? From the Vernon Curling Club. Jim Cotter. No roll. Good. And off the back and in. Oh. Nice shot. That'll work. Good sweep. Kathy, let's quickly go over. Shot stone appears to be yellow. Laycock final. Wayne Madaw. Well, they look to try to run an angle in and pop the yellow up and down, but afraid of the catcher, trying to get to the nose of his own stone as much as he can to push back the yellow shot. No, it crashed. And it looks like it's a steal of one. Boy, that could have been as many as five if it gets by and gets to the inside. One yellow. So 3 2 Laycock fighting for his That's life. That? My weights are all over exactly What's that? So one game remains on the ice. This is the final stone for British Columbian Jim Cotter as they play the yes. Howard team and Wayne Madaw. And trying to get right on top it. of the stone on the button. Gotta be five inches into the fourth foot, guys. Gotta go. Hard Gotta, go. Gotta get it here. Gotta get it here. Hard. Hard. Huge brush, Swatsky oh, 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 and oh, oh, Nerpin. It's good. And on top. Well, yeah, that, how close was I last Just time? over curled. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just gotta, I just gotta move it. So I'm just saying, if I throw that, where was I? Where, you're through, eh, boys? Boys, hey, hey! I'm quick, we got time too. Minute. Well, how much was his last draw? Through, eh? Okay. Wayne was trying to come down on his first stone, very similar yeah. path, and he just grazed a stone that was in the eight foot. So it essentially is the exact same thing that he just threw. Yeah, it's definitely there. Lots of curl here. Wild card number three, Glenn Howard, but with his injury, it means Wayne Madaw is throwing the skip stone. Come in at three and one, British Columbia. Jim Cotter now skipping the team from Vernon at one and three. And there is Glenn Howard watching. He'll be close. There's lots of curl here. Go, 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 go. go, go. Yep, Davey, go. David Mathers. Hard, Davey. Whoa. Tim Whoa. March Clean. on the left. Clean. Scott Whoa. Howard Clean. calling line. Yes. 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 Stay with it all the way. Now the carry. Oh. Get it by that one. Harder, Take it down by Give that one and then sit there. Anymore. Oh, yeah, baby. Come voodoo. On. The voodoo that you do. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> oh, wow. Wayne Madaw picks up the deuce. Two reds. As they come back to pick up the win, 4-3 the final. We thought it was going to hang and they were smart enough to brush it because it got into the patch. It actually wrecked. It did erupt. Wow. Outstanding. The return of Wayne Madaw and that magic. As Glenn watches it, is it there? You 
bet it is in this pandemic year. And wow, Wayne Madon pulls off a wonderful shot to score the two as they are now among the leaders. Team wildcard number three.